Uh, the Oral Paintings is an extension of my group Jazz in the New Harmonic, and the album is called Trio in the New Harmonic. It features the uh, great drummer Billy Drummond and the great bassist Peter Washington that play in my quintet. The idea of the album is to combine modern classical harmony with a jazz trio. We try to get away from traditional voicings as dominant, minor, things like that, and more atonal and abstract in concept. That's why it's kind of called uh, the paintings, because you think of these as eight different abstract modern paintings. We've always done one-point micings. We started out with a C24, it was a tube mic. We moved from Soundfield, and then we moved on to the uh, B&K series, the binaural microphones, and now we're producing our own capsules, binaural capsules uh, as well. But we're testing out ribbons now, because I was listening one day to an old Fats Waller record, and it was recorded in the 30s, and I was just amazed at how natural the vocal sounded, even it was an old record, even with all the problems of the recordings, you know, the limited frequency response, etc., etc. But there was something very organic and natural about the mid-range of the voices. So I started testing some ribbon mics and I decided I wanted to try this record with a stereo ribbon. So we're using a stereo ribbon on this recording and I think it takes us into a more natural um, genre. Church in Greenpoint is a much larger venue. It has a bigger reverb time. This is a smaller church. I think it works great for jazz. And like I said, they have one of the best nine foot pianos I've ever played. So that at the end of the day is the reason pretty much why we used it. I think the piano has an amazing tone. And then again, like I said, I think the ribbon mic really captures the nuances of the piano. The pieces themselves are very small abstract portraits. They're heads, like a jazz piece, and then it, most of the middle part is all improvised. You know, it's improvisation. So there's these little heads, they're like colors, textures, pastel layers that I create these um, little musical compositions, and then it's a vehicle for us to play jazz, but in a different context. It's not free jazz, it's not based on a harmonic language, but it's based on a modern tonality that doesn't really resolve itself into the typical, you know, minor, dominant, major resolution that a lot of jazz tunes, two five ones, are predicated on.